Yes, how you doing? My name's Robbie, and today we're gonna be doing some kitchen hacks. So many crafts, so little time. This one goes out to a little thing I call crafts. I don't know how to play the guitar. Okay guys, so this first part, I don't know if I can do this first part. <laughs> this hack is breaking my kitchen. So in the hack, it looked like they used a red apple. I don't know if a green apple, if it really matters, but we just, there we go. I'll see you boys in a bit. Okay, so it's the next day. Uh, let's see how our apples looking. Okay, this is interesting. It's frozen solid. Let's just go ahead and put this outside to thaw out a little bit. Okay, I'll see you in about an hour, Apple. One hour later. Okay, time to see how our friend's doing. Mr. Apple. Are you done with your time in the sun? No, please, I'm not ready to go back. Take that as a yes. It's time for the big moment, boys. It's time for the thumbnail. We're just gonna try and squeeze it. Is it gonna work? Come on. Oh! <gasps> It's actually working! There's actually juice coming out of this. That's crazy! It works, guys! It works! This hack involves one of my favorite things ever. You guessed it. Tin foil. You can use it to make hats that you can use to read people's minds. Just kidding. I'm talking about bacon. So I'm gonna do is put this side with the normal tin foil and do this one where you fold it zigzag. I'm just gonna go ahead and rip it right here. That way it can fit. I hope this kind of looks like one of those things that you put on your window so the sun doesn't get in. Oh my gosh, it does. Okay, now let's put the bacon on. How the heck can there be so much glory in so little space? I really feel like this isn't gonna do anything. 375. It looks like these little piggies aren't going to the market today. Later. All right, boys, it's bacon time. Okay, so it does look like this one is a little bit more covered in grease, and this one is a little bit cleaner. I uh, I am noticing a little bit of a difference here. Ooh, that is some nicely cooked bacon, actually. Not bad. I'm gonna have to blot some of this grease off here. So I think that this method works better if you want like floppy bacon, and this one's better for like crispy bacon. So I guess we could say it works. Okay, so we got our bag full of water. We go and we take our skewers like this, kind of, maybe like like this. Wrap this baby around. I don't know how practical this really is. I really hope this works because I actually have a water bottle that I use every day and uh, ice doesn't fit in it, so this would be nice. Okay, now we're all done with this. Just gotta make some room in the freezer for these bad boys. Now carefully transplant the organ. Oh no, oh no. Get in there. Okay, now we gotta wait for these bad boys to freeze. So it's been a little over a day since I put those in the freezer and this is the result. So they look pretty solid. Um, I feel like these might be able to fit in my water bottle. This is the ultimate water bottle test here. So we're just gonna go ahead and take some of these stick things off. And now. Okay, so that one doesn't fit in the water bottle at all. We got one winner. Wow, okay. So I definitely see a lot of potential in this one. The only problem is it's a little hard to determine what makes them smaller or not. I think it would be really cool if they just made plastic bags where you could just fill them up with water and then make them into like giant icicles for your water bottle. That would be a really smart idea. I should patent that. I would definitely buy something like that. That is such a freaking good idea. So the first thing we're gonna need is a drill. Now we're gonna need an elbow pipe. You would not believe how hard it was to actually find one of these that would fit over this at Home Depot. Let's put this onto here. There we go, that went on. Oh no, <laughs> I just crushed it. And just to be safe, I got our old friend, Mr. Hot Glue Gun, to help us out. Really don't want this to come off. Well, I'm putting my meat through this tube. God, that sounds so wrong. And we gotta drill a hole in the back of this guy. A little bit of plastic everywhere, no big deal. We gotta make sure it's big enough for our stick to go through. It's perfect, it fits perfect. Then we go ahead and cut this bad boy. 
Now we got our meat. Let's go ahead and try to put it in this tube thing. God, this is so gross. I think this is still good. I'm sorry to all you vegetarians that are watching this. Okay, we got about half the pound of ground beef in there. Okay, so we got our can. Now we gotta push it out like this. I kind of hope that this works actually. Uh, I have to put my whole body into this. I hope I don't crush the can. Uh, okay, it's coming out. I think it's actually working. Uh, God. Uh. Okay, I'm starting to see stars. I'm starting to see stars. Ugh, I got meat juice all over me. This is so gross. Uh, it's starting to come out the bottom. Just gonna put all that back in there. Maybe if I put more meat in there. This is so excessive. I could have just rolled the beef onto the stick at this point. Uh, 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 yep, that can is... This was way harder than I thought it would be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that this one doesn't work, okay guys? Okay boys, now it's time to make a bottle funnel thing. So it looks like they did kind of like this bad boy, something like this, and then another bad boy like like this. I'm just making predictions here. I don't really know. Keep going like that. Oh, that's straight. Straight enough. So they used an X-Acto knife for this part, but I'm gonna go ahead and use a knife and also this blowtorch to heat up the knife to cut through it like butter, uh, as we learned in that one hack. I might have to get another blowtorch soon. I use this one so much. Okay, use the old-fashioned way and just cut it. Some of these crafts are so dangerous. Please don't cut off my finger. Okay, I don't need that anymore. Maybe if I heat it up with a blowtorch. Okay, it is bright red now. Please don't burn slash cut me. Okay, it's working. Woo, we did it! But apparently you need to do something to like the edge right here for some reason. Oh God, I'm just scared I'm gonna melt it. I'm not even gonna bother with this part. Then I take the top off. I'm gonna use some prongs for this because I don't wanna touch this. Well, it's still hot. I gotta do this. Oh, this is so scary. Maybe I shouldn't use a blowtorch for this. I have returned with my lighter. Okay. This is a lot less threatening, and I appreciate this. Is it gonna work? I feel like I shouldn't use the pointy end. I'm sure with some practice, I might be able to get this one, but it doesn't look like it wants to work. I just need the tip. Come on. Well, I guess that's all we're getting. Okay, so apparently then we just pull this over like this, and then <laughs> it's not fitting. Well... I guess that works. This hack is so funny. It's like, hey guys, did you know that you can use a big Coke bottle to refill a little Coke bottle with a big Coke bottle? Honestly, this handle doesn't help at all. It would be better just to hold it down like this. Well, yep, it appears to be working. Now let's hope that uh, this isn't too much Coke. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Well guys, it works. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna need the knife and my trusty dusty blowtorch. We're also gonna need one of these plastic bags. I don't even know why I bother getting the cutting board out because it's not long enough. I'm just imagining all the little kids being like, hey mom, where's the blowtorch? Kids, don't play with blowtorches. This is stupid. I saw a comment the other day. It was like, kids, don't try this at home. And then someone's like, okay, I won't do it at home. I'll do it at a park. <laughs> You guys are so funny. I don't know if it actually sealed or not. It is a little crooked. I will point that out. Woo, I can smell the plastic burning. I might have melted the countertop a little bit, but it, it's fine. I guess it's time to fill this fun bag up with soda. No, 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 no. This tried to explode on me. I feel like this is gonna be a little bit more difficult than they made it look. Please don't spill. Oh no, it's leaking. Okay, so let's try another one. Oh. This one's also leaking. No, 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 no. I will try every single one of these until one works. Are you working? I think we may have just found ourselves a winner. Nope, this one is also leaking. Fourth time is a charm. I just cleaned this whole kitchen for the video. This one is also leaking. Fifth time is a charm. A perfect little spout. <laughs> Thank you to anyone who is watching this video who said bless you. So maybe the last one will work? I have faith in you. Come on, work, please. <gasps> Do we have a winner? Do we have a winner? Throw a little stick in there. Yeah, okay. 
Let's uh, let's toss this in the fridge. Actually, I'm gonna wrap this in napkins because I'm scared that it's gonna leak all over my freezer. My floor's so sticky. Put this in the freezer. I'm gonna go ahead and hide it in this little nook right here and hopefully no animals touch it. So this is our homemade Polar Pop. Let's see how it turned out. <laughs> This is so sad. Only this much of the Coke actually stayed inside of it. I guess that means that the rest of it is all inside my freezer. Oh no, it looks like I have a mess to clean up later. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're gonna give this a try with the lighter first, and then after that, we're gonna try the blowtorch. <laughs> really hope this doesn't shatter on me. Is it gonna work? This is so scary. It's just getting really black. Okay, apparently it might not have worked because I was holding it on its side, so we're gonna try and hold it on a table this time, just like it was in the video. Here we go, guys. Come on, heat up. I'm just hiding way down here, guys, so I don't get hurt. I'm not feeling too good about this one. I don't think this is gonna work, so I'm gonna try the blowtorch. Oh God. Oh god, I don't think this is gonna work, guys. Woo! It worked! Holy uh, It worked! Woo! We did it! Who wants wine? I don't drink. Oh, it's making a sound. You guys hear that? It's from where it's boiling, where it's hitting the bottle. That is so funny. Wow, it actually works! You just need a fucking blowtorch! Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna need a big Coke bottle and a little Coke bottle. I haven't drinking all this Coke yet though, so. Oh, I really don't wanna waste it, but I really don't wanna drink this. Ugh. Okay, so first we gotta cut the big one in half. Ah! I just gotta put this in here, and I gotta put this stick through the plastic. How'd that make it look so easy? I'm good, I'm good. That was very close though. These crafts are so unsafe. Woo, almost cut myself again. This is so dangerous. I'm gonna go ahead and heat up my knife again. Please just melt through. I don't wanna stab myself. Okay, that's a lot better. I'm gonna poke it through that hole right there. Uh, this is as good as we're gonna get, I think, uh, without me cutting off my finger. Cut this orange in half. Now we're gonna try and not get this orange in my cut because that's gonna burn really badly. Okay. I think it's working. It's actually working. This is so overly complicated. It would just be easier to like squeeze it yourself. I get so much more juice just doing this. This is our progress so far. This is really starting to make me appreciate all the work that goes into making orange juice. We only got that much out of this whole orange. I don't know if this works or not. I really don't think it does. Make some pancakes. So we grab our bowl. How much does it say that this needs? One cup of golden malted flour. I really don't want to make a whole cup of pancakes. This seems like it's gonna be way too much. Oh well. One egg, three-fourths a cup of milk. That's half, and I guess half of this, because I don't have a three-fourths cup. And a tablespoon of butter. Mix, 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 mix the pancakes, mix it up away. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. I'm so gay. It's really gotta steer it up there. This is requiring so much mixing. I wonder if this funnel that we made earlier will work for pancakes. Well, only one way to find out. This is our oddly clean ketchup bottle. I feel kind of guilty because I emptied out all the ketchup in this and it was pretty Pretty much full. Sorry roommates, I owe you more ketchup. This handle still sucks ass. So we'll try just a tiny bit. Oh sh Oh yeah, it's kind of working. It's just gonna take a really long time for it all to go in. Okay, f this sh Try and fit this into this tube. It's kind of working. And this literally looks like a giant thing of mayonnaise. I kind of want to throw up. Yep, pancake batter definitely doesn't taste as good as regular cake batter. Well, I guess it's time to test this out. This is gonna be so weird. Butter, butter, butter. This is a no-stick pan with butter on it. There's no way pancakes are sticking onto this baby. Okay, so we'll just, uh, ready? Oh, that's not bad. It's kinda, that's pretty convenient. I could get behind this. And it clogged. 
it already clogged. Just little tiny pancakes like that. Oh no, this is gonna morph into a big one. I guess it's convenient if you make pancakes a lot, you can just put it in like a bottle and be like, well, I'll make it three pancakes today. All done. Just little tiny pancakes like that. Oh no, this is gonna morph into a big one. Ooh, these are not bad looking pancakes. You know what? I think I might be digging this. It looks like it works. Okay guys, if you like the video, make sure you go a thumbs up. Let's send it this fight right down there. If you guys like these videos and you wanna watch even more, I made a whole playlist dedicated to me doing all sorts of crafts and life hacks. Down in the comments down below, tell me what life hacks I should do next. And I might just do them in the next video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I make videos pretty freaking awesome. Buy my freaking merch. Okay guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Okay, bye. Ah!